of amazing. We actually had a hail alley out there making up uh, areas of Nebraska, also Colorado and Wyoming. Doesn't get a lot of notoriety. There aren't tornadoes, but one of the most incredible things that a severe thunderstorm can do is produce hail ice in the atmosphere, large chunks of ice, which can vary anywhere from pea size all the way up to softball size and can cause if you're a farmer. You know what I'm talking about? Billions of dollars worth of damage in crops. Let's talk about pea size and what we're talking about here is updraft strength. What does it take with the thunderstorm? In other words, the rising motion of the thunderstorm to hold this ice in the air? Well, we know that air rises and gets up to a level where it starts to freeze. So once this super cool water starts to condense and, and bang against each other, you can get little chunks of ice. And as long as that updraft, at least for pea size, stays at 35 miles an hour, you can support that hail. It can get bigger though. 45 miles per hour, we start getting quarter size hail, one inch diameter. And you will more than likely be in a severe thunderstorm warning if the forecaster looking at the radar is seeing that size hail growth or the potential of that size hail growth within the thunderstorm. Guess what? Hail gets a lot bigger. Look at this. Yeah, just played last weekend, as a matter of fact. Golf ball size hail, 64 miles per hour is what it takes from the ground up to hold and support these hailstones. And remember, they're not traveling way up here, 30, 40,000 feet. They're just suspended here. You've got other hailstones and you've got super cool water that's adhering to the stone and allowing it to grow. So as long as the updraft strength can support this size stone, it will remain suspended and it will grow. Baseball size hail, 2.75 inches, 81 mile per hour updraft. Think about it. You're getting a ticket if you're going 81 miles per hour. In this case, it's air flowing from the bottom up to the top of the atmosphere. 85 miles per hour for teacup diameter hail. You know, when we start talking about teacups, I wonder who in the heck said this is teacup diameter? Who took the time to measure a teacup? I think that's really interesting. Hail can get bigger though. It can get up to softball size, 4.5 inches in diameter. Guess what? Now we're over 100 miles per hour with that updraft strength to support a softball stone. And you know you can get tremendous destruction with this thing. And you're talking about winds too, uh, or at least air, these stones that are falling at over 100 miles per hour. So they can cause a tremendous amount of damage to your roof, to your automobile, to you, to your windows, uh, and of course crops and even siding once it comes down sideways. The biggest hailstone ever recorded here was in Vivian, South Dakota on July 23rd, 2010. Eight inches in diameter, 18.62 inches in circumference, weighing nearly two pounds. A phenomenal hailstone here. Imagine that almost the size of a soccer ball. Just to give you a little comparison here. Look at this thing next to my head. <laughs> Needless to say, you don't want to be outside when baseball, softball, or soccer ball size hail starts falling from the sky.